In preparation for doing a flush of your SLS hydraulic fluid, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. And I always change the filter right here. Before you even plan to do this, is to inspect the hoses. There's two hoses. One is a low pressure return hose from the bottom of the reservoir here that goes over to the pump on the front of the engine. That's a braided hose. And I would say that about seven out of 10 times when I look at these old wagons like this, that braided hose is wet and weeping fluid. So we just get rid of those braided hoses and we don't replace them with braided hoses. We have a very special hose that we get from Parker that has an internal sheath that keeps from rotting from the use of hydraulic fluid. So this is a kit we supply on my website. It's just a length of hose and two clamps. And this would be the hose replacement for that low pressure braided hose. That's fairly easy to change. Now you want to look at the high pressure hose, which is a bigger hose, and it runs from the pump over along here, uh, right underneath the air filter housing, and then it runs to the back of the car through you know, metal lines. That's the high pressure hose. And you might inspect that. They tend to crack. The first signs of deterioration is the outer part of the hose will be all cracked, and you may see wetness around the fittings. There's these swedge fittings on each end. So as far as I know, that hose is not available new, but I did come up with a kit. Once again, we get some very special, super high pressure, internally braided stainless steel hose. <laughs> this very expensive hose, and we provide this in a kit along with instructions. You have to take your old hose off, and then you have to take the fittings off the end and then reinstall them. It's not a real easy job, but you really don't have a whole lot of other options if that high pressure hose show signs of deterioration or is leaking. So the high pressure hose looks good on this car. But now, the other thing I wanna mention is that most of the time that I've done flushes on these systems, it's been a while since it's been done and it's been neglected. And you're gonna find the tank is dirty inside. So almost every time I do this, I end up removing the reservoir tank right here and cleaning it out reinstalling the tank and at the same time I can get that new low pressure hose installed then I'm ready to begin the flush so if you own one of these older 300 TD wagons <laughs> and you're having self-leveling suspension problems I have a number of resources on my website including how to replace the components things like how to troubleshoot what's really wrong with the system if it's riding hard or bouncing too much and so on but if you're just thinking about doing a fluid flush, and by the way, I recommend you do this every 40 to 50,000 miles. Uh, people let this go for years. And I've seen damage caused by lack of fluid flushing. It's like, just like an engine. You're gonna leave the oil in your engine for five years? Well, you shouldn't be leaving the oil in the suspension system for five to 10 years or longer, as is often the case. So I'd recommend you go out to your wagon. If you haven't taken a look under the hood in a while, go ahead and open up the cap on this reservoir, check the filter, see how dirty that fluid is in there. And if it's dark and blackish color, you know, you need to do a flush. And when you do a flush, you need to change the filter. The filter's located right under this cap here. So it's really easy to change the filter. And then inspect those two hoses. I really recommend that you inspect those hoses. I've seen those hoses rupture uh, from people driving on the road, you know, and then you're just stranded. Because you do not, and I'm gonna repeat, you do not wanna drive the car if your system suddenly ruptures somewhere and leaks the hydraulic fluid out of the system. If you drive the car very far, you will destroy the hydraulic pump in the front of the engine. And then that gets really expensive. So it's really better to find the problems, particularly on these hoses, before they crack and, and dump fluid all over the highway as you're cruising down the road to some far away destination. So check those hoses out, check the condition of the fluid out. In my kit, I have instructions, video instructions that come with it that will show you how to do the complete flush of the system. I also will have some video instructions on replacing this low pressure hose that will come with the hose. Currently, for the high pressure hose, I have a written manual that takes you through the process step by step of how to repair your existing high pressure hose on your old 300 TD wagon. So check those resources out on my website. I'll also put links in the show more part of the description below this video.